And first at six, the families of two University of Miami students, victims of a deadly crash, break down while hugging jurors in court today. And the emotional moments came after a verdict was reached in the civil case against the driver responsible for that crash. CBS 4's Gary Nelson was the only reporter there when the verdict was returned, and he joins us live from downtown Miami with more. Gary. Jurors spoke only to CBS 4 News after returning this multi-million dollar verdict this afternoon. They told me it was all about responsibility, holding drivers accountable for their behavior behind the wheel. <laughs> Broken-hearted parents embrace jury members and sob with relief and gratitude. Moments earlier, the jury returned after a week-long trial and handed Judge Mignus Sanchez Lawrence a verdict awarding two sets of parents some $8.6 million for the loss of their children. Ying Chen, a Ph.D. student at UM, and her friend Hao Lu, also a UM student, Student were run over and killed by this woman, Milady Picano, at the wheel of her black Porsche on Kendall Drive off US 1. Picano said she never saw the students. It was dark, her view obscured. The jury believed the plaintiffs. Picano just wasn't watching where she was going. She's a driver in a car, any vehicle uh, is responsible on the road and, and knowing what's in the road at all times. Pacano was emotionless as the jury found her overwhelmingly responsible for the students' deaths. Their parents wept at the jury's findings. They are very, very pleased to have had their day in court here where they got to be heard, where they got to share their stories of their children with the jury and with everyone in the courtroom, and that was a very meaningful thing for them. Ying Chen and Hao Lu were brilliant students, had stellar careers ahead. The jury recognized that and the years of pain and suffering ahead for their parents. Pacano nor her attorney spoke after the multi-million dollar blow. Ms. Pacano, uh, do you have any comment on this verdict? No, I don't. No comments. While Pacano left the courthouse quickly after the verdict, the parents of the dead children and jurors who heard the case lingered. While neither spoke the other's language, language was not required. Now, an attorney for the plaintiffs in this case tells me that Picano had automobile insurance accident coverage of only $500,000, a tiny fraction of the amount awarded by this jury. However, they tell me the car Picano was driving was leased by a family corporation that they believe has very deep pockets. We're live in Miami. Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News. Gary, thank you very much. We have some breaking